Hi guys, welcome to Simproved, Fry speaking here, and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. Today we are going to build Winterfell Castle from the acclaimed and very famous book and of course television series Game of Thrones. It's something that I love to watch this series and wanted to recreate this in The Sims 4 for you. It's spoiler free for those who watch the series and for those who don't watch the series they get an awesome fantasy castle so yeah stay tuned for this i will explain how i built this how i try to mimic the whole thing out of the series of course and yeah this is basically my first game of thrones build so without further ado let's get started <laughs> So I started with the outer walls. First of all, I tried to use several, of course, reference pictures. I stalked the production designers <laughs> and uh, watched lots of documentaries about also real castles and forts around the globe. And for the Winterfell Castle, I wanted to use the, of course, uh, version of the television series because that's like the first visual that we get, of course. There have been some layouts uh, or blueprints that I've seen online. Apparently some of them were in special editions of the books and so on. Those don't look at all like the one in the television series and since it's like the most famous visual that we have from this castle, I tried to go with the television series version. Also that version from season to season over the years has changed and therefore I had some freedom how to build this a little bit but also i of course had some you know recommendations from uh the sims 4 build mode since we all know that the grid system isn't that correct and too so precise so i had to wing it a little bit here i have to say that i kind of was inspired the most from a 3d model i think you can buy it as a collector's edition kind of builds that you can put somewhere you can even buy it on amazon right now i will ping i will i will link to it maybe in the description down below but yeah this little toy kind of collectible uh, of the castle is basically my main reference since it kind of looked for me the most buildable in The Sims 4 and also a little bit more like in the series but pre be, be prepared that it kind of will have some freedom in, <laughs> in the whole layout of course. So yeah, so Winterfell Castle of course there's an outer wall like I said in some versions there are even two walls so there are like two rows of walls so I kind of skip one and in the middle there is the Winterfell Castle of course with some outer houses that we also will put in there. I try to reference of course the very famous round towers that Winterfell has. This is something that makes it kind of look very distinct in like in comparison to other fantasy castles or even like real existing castles because I would say it looks a, like a very European medieval kind of castle for it uh, something like this but like the round roofs with the round towers this is like something that i've never seen maybe there is some reference of like a real castle that has this but in my opinion this is like something very distinct from the tv series that they chose to do and i wanted to try to do them here as well you can see me doing the first um, biggest tower so I used of course some round roofs and then I found these fountains. I think these are base game fountains and I could make them bigger and then stack some roofs in there to make it look like these distinct roofs that we see in the series and of course in the 3D models and so on uh, that kind of make it look more like Winterfell in my opinion. So uh, yeah, this is basically a tip for you guys if you want to recreate something. Don't only use the build mode objects uh, or build mode tools that you have. You can also try to upsize and downsize maybe objects and stack them in there to make it look a little bit more like the reference that you're trying to build in The Sims 4. Because yeah, like I said, uh, sometimes the grid and all that kind of stuff is kind of fiddly. You can't really recreate everything one by one. And this is also why I will build this house here, which is also not on the 3D model that I chose to use as reference. But this is basically the armory and over there, there's the barracks for the knights and soldiers. And there's this distinct outer fence with the roof on top uh, that we see a lot of times in the series where the people are standing and they're looking down through the courtyard watching people 
train to fight and all that kind of stuff. And I thought this is something that I've seen so many times in the series. I actually have to have this kind of building, annex building as well. So I put this in there. I think it's somewhere else <laughs> in this castle. Also be reminded that I of course have to heavily cut this video again, but I really try to show you every kind of important corner of this build for you guys. Here we are in the so-called God's Wood, so um, next to the outer walls there's another little forest I would say, and there's the very famous tree with the red leaves. Now I can't remember. Werewood tree, yeah that's what it's called. The werewood tree, it has red leaves and I used the alien plants from the Get to Work expansion pack because they came with red leaves and also in live mode they have this shimmery glowing animation so it kind of looks more, even more magical than Ever. and then I will just stack normal trees all around it to make it look like the forest it actually is. I was kind of surprised that the forest is like directly next to the castle but in every reference that I found it is there. I actually always thought it's like far more outwards of the castle but apparently it's really next to it so that's actually actually really interesting. And here we are building or decorating already some of the interior courtyard so I put like tiny little houses and annexes next to the wall not directly next to the um, castle and that one was inspired by recent into the episode or behind the scenes kind of documentaries that I've seen uh, where they explained how they kind of did the layout and the production design of the whole castle and they had of course a smithery so this is the uh, corner for a smith so there, of course is there like a huge kind of fireplace I also stacked a campfire in there so there's like lots of fire going on there and then later Later on I will put lots and lots of you know knives like the kitchen knives I made them bigger and lots of these uh, get famous uh, requisites I think you know stuff that they use from get famous from the movie pack so there are some armory type of things for example a shield and some daggers and all that stuff so I will put them here as well on the wall to kind of display that hey there's a smith here and he is smithing the of course like armor and the knives and swords and whatnot for the castle for the big battles to come and whatnot and on the other side next to the castle is the bakery i had to put it next to the castle because you can go from the kitchen in the castle out to the bakery which is an outer place this is also a reference that i saw in one of the behind the scenes thing that they have an outer bakery or a kind of soup kitchen kind of for feeding the knights and you know people living there and maybe getting shelter I don't know uh, the workers so this is basically also like a reference and thought it makes much more sense to put in there and then I put some of these uh, camping tables out there as well and put the I think these are from jungle adventures these pagodas these wooden structures over them which were look which look perfect so I thought this is perfect I would totally use something like that because Winterfell for those who don't know is actually like in a way north so we have to think about maybe Scandinavian temperatures lots of snow really cold I had to you know kind of be reminded a little bit of that so of course there would be some things where you can go sit under something so it's not snowed in kind of made sense to have lots and lots of these pagodas or whatever it's called to put everywhere and here we are in the armory which is downstairs of course lots of these knight statues and uh, lots of swords here we are in the interior of the castle already this is the planning room you know with some maps where they can discuss where to attack later or where their i don't know ration storage kind of things are or whatnot um i thought this is like a perfect kind of common room in the middle of everything downstairs and i thought that makes like much more sense of course i will use lots and lots of candles and like fire kind of bowls and whatnot and to make it look very medieval so you won't see anything technical in there, no TVs and stereo boxes and all that kind of stuff. So this will look totally like a medieval castle. Here we are in the library that we also saw in some of the most recent episodes from the last season. 
And I thought, hey, it makes sense that they have kind of like a library, of course. So I stacked some different looking bookshelves and there kind of moved them all around and stacked lots and lots of other books and details in there. So it kind of looks like a tiny little library that they may ha might have, of course, in their castle to, you know, maybe write and read about the castles and the royal family living there, like the history and stuff. And of course there will be several bedrooms in there. I think we have nine bedrooms in this whole castle. And uh, so yeah, you can totally play with eight sims in there, the full maximum dosage of sims living in there. I won't show every little bedroom because they kind of all look the same. And also at the end we will look of course at everything in a video tour. This is the kitchen, which is of course a little bit more modern looking because we only have very modern looking uh, counters and stuff. I'm pretty sure this is not how counters would look like or a kitchen layout would look like but since the sims still have to cook and need like a stove and need like a sink and all that stuff to be able to eat and prepare food I uh, kind of had to do this here to make it, it at least work for the sims to play with it and uh, actually have sims living there and surviving in the castle if you know what I mean. But yeah the kitchen is actually pretty big there's like a huge table in the middle uh, used lots and lots of decorational objects as well. Basically I've highly decorated it and lots and lots of decorational objects are everywhere. I also used all of the packs so far because I didn't want to be you know recommended to just a bunch of uh, base game objects or something like this. And of course the download link will be in the video description like always as well. So yeah, this is basically the downstairs area with a bunch of um, bedrooms, the library, the common room and the kitchen are basically like the most prominent parts of this whole downstairs area. And of course the armory on the side. So. I really like to do the different bedrooms. I kind of try to do them differently. Also, I try to put things in there to make them look for different parts of the royal family living there. For those who don't know, there's the Stark lady and Lord Stark living there and their whole family with the kids. And I tried, of course, to put some references in there. So this is, for example, the bedroom of Bran later, which is really near to the forest. Basically the good, good Godswood. Yeah, Godswood it's called. And also, of course, the smith has his own, her own, maybe it's a girl, you don't, you don't know, <laughs> little room there as well to sleep in there. So yeah, I think we even have more than nine bedrooms in there. But yeah, I was really happy like with all the packs, we actually have like lots and lots of things that kind of remind you of medieval and even older kind of, you know, builds and objects and kind of you don't actually need to have like a medieval pack somehow. I was really surprised how much you can put in there and find there to make it really look like a castle. So that's what's really really cool. This is the barracks over the armory. I could only put like four beds in there but yeah since it's the sims and you can only have like eight sims living there kind of makes sense to just not have that many beds. Of course if I would have more space I would have made like a whole dorm kind of thing maybe even like a barn with some hay and dirt on the ground but yeah this is basically the more sophisticated form of barracks that you could have I think. But yeah, I just thought it would be cool. Also, in almost every little room there are fireplaces. This is the bedroom of Arya, for example. She's like a girl, but is very into fighting and like boy stuff. So I put lots and lots of these uh, swords and decorational objects in there to make it look as if uh, somebody who's kind of into fighting living there. But I, of course, had Arya in mind if you watch the series. That's not even a spoiler, so this is all like in the first episode, I guess. But yeah, I just thought it's nice to have some references in the bedrooms as well. And I could use, that was also really interesting, I could use the cats and dogs pack because you had these dog statues and if you make them bigger, kind of looks like a wolf and the main animal on the banner of the Starks is a wolf. So I thought this is perfect that I could incorporate something wolf looking at, uh, at least. We also have a werewolf statue that you can hang on the wall but it looked a little bit too you know like creepy horror movie for me so I only used it sparely. I think I will use them in the catacombs and the crypts later. This is of course the throne room. We have only seen the throne room in a setup like this with like huge tables and there are some there's like 
fireplace on each side. There is not like a real throne sitting in there. So for those who don't know the series, this is basically how the throne room looks a little bit with a high-end table with like better chairs for the royals and then like the common people and knights and whatnot can sit on the longer tables in the middle. I think they actually have four tables, four long tables in the hall. But yeah, since we have some restrictions here, I thought two will do as well. It kind of looks a lot kind of nicely, you know, like not as run down and kind of cold, especially cold as it looks in the series, but you can blame this on The Sims 4 kind of shading and lighting, which is actually nice because The Sims 4 is like kind of like a happy game if you catch my drift, so therefore the whole look of the game kind of makes it look a little bit more friendly, the whole castle, which is actually really nice. And I really like the candle lights, uh, they have this really nice orange-red glow which makes it look really cool. Here is the bedroom of the Lord and the Lady. I used some red here as bedding because it looks a little bit more royal. So this is like one of the, this is the, actually the biggest bedroom that we have over the Great Hall. And of course there are like more rocks in there. Of course a fireplace because I just thought it's really cold there. So they have fireplaces in almost every room kind of makes sense for me. Not architectural wise, of course in real life castles you don't have that many fireplaces in like each and every room. You kind of would have like a bowl or like a huge pl iron plate or something where you could put in some wood to or some coal to heat in the room. But also not every room would be heated, that's just uh, very wasteful. So yeah. This is the Sims 4 version. I just thought it looks really cool to use these. I think it's from the Vampire Pack, the fireplaces. I really love them. By the way, if you love to build these kinds of style, like the medieval style, maybe Victorian, I would highly recommend you to get the Vampire Pack for builders. Because Vampire Pack, I know it kind of sounds like very gothic, kind of. But all the objects also have like really light color swatches like this one with the stone and white marble. So it kind of can look also very sophisticated in my opinion. So this is something really, really cool. And here we are already down under in the crypts. There are crypts referenced throughout the series also in the books. And the crypts, of course, self-explanatory, have some statues and of course some, you know, places for the dead uh, buried there. We don't see them that much in the series, only a, also the crypts are not very well lit. This time I did it. There are several statues remembering some of the fallen or dead lords and ladies of Winterfell. And I used also some of the vampire statues here as well, especially reminded me of Lady Lyanna who is referenced throughout the books and the series, of course. Don't want to spoil that much here. And then at the end I will put also a crypt with a statue in there for somebody who is dying in the series, but I don't want to spoil. <laughs> But yeah, I guess everybody else who watches the series uh, directly knows who that's supposed to be. But yeah, of course put this in the crypts as well. And then next to the crypts I will put some cells for the, you know, people from the war that they may have ca captured or something like this. I just thought it makes more sense to have, of course, cells in a huge castle. Kind of made sense for me. Also reference, not really a reference that we have this in Winterfell, but in other castles throughout the Game of Thrones series and books, some cells are referenced and people are also thrown in cells. So it seems to be like a common thing to have in, you know, Game of Thrones to have some cells in their castle. And yeah, this is basically the whole build, guys. Here we are with the video tour. Look at this at winter. It looks so beautiful. You can, of course, have winter when you have the Seasons expansion pack. But so far, I just thought since Winterfell is like a northern castle, I have to show it to you in winter. It looks really, really cool and highly decorated and I try to incorporate everything that I could see from the 3D models, the book and of course from the series. It kind of was really interesting to build this, especially the rounder roofs of the towers, which is like something so distinct of Winterfell. Here we are in the courtyard with the armory and uh, the barracks on top. There's the inner courtyard. We have some dogs running around on this map because I set it to a, like a dog haven or something like this. A dog hangout. <laughs> so be prepared to see some random dogs. There's the smithery. Smithery? The smith? The blacksmith? Whatever. That's his 
point of work, <laughs> this field of work there, the place where they can eat. And this is of course a bakery slash soup kitchen for um, yeah, giving food out to the people living there and also working there of course and maybe outside of the castle, I don't know. So yeah, it was kind of interesting to uh, decorate this. It was really, really cool because I was... I'm a huge Game of Thrones fan and therefore it was kind of interesting to kind of incorporate everything that for me is important to have for Winterfell because it kind of is so iconic for me to have in Winterfell. I've already seen lots and lots of other Simmers doing Winterfell and they all look very different in my opinion. This is really interesting because I think it has to do with the reference pictures and references that you can get. And since they have changed the layout for shooting it, and of course in the book it's totally different, and for a 3D model it's different. So we have like lots and lots of freedom how to how the castle actually looks like. And also from the interior we don't have that much references how the actual layout of the whole castle is. At least I couldn't find it, which would have been so much easier then. But I really liked how it turned out, and it's really, really beautiful in my opinion highly decorated kind of makes a little, lot of sense a little bit we had of course some freedom so it's not like a real in real life castle i think therefore the layout and everything is kind of a little bit too unrealistic i think but i wanted to think at this point also like uh, some friends that i could ask about uh, medieval stuff and because they're much more into that thank you so much for helping me out with that but yeah this is basically a really normal kind of build it's not that high end but since we had the reference from the series i really hope that you like it even though if you maybe don't like the show or have never watched the show this is like a really cool solid castle for your sims to live in i can see this being used in lots of like medieval fairy tale kind of gameplay as well so thank you for uh, suggesting this for me and of course as always you can download Download this the download link is for free in the video description down below you can also follow me on the sims 4 gallery under simproved and as always you can write me in the comments what i have to build next guys and yeah this is basically it thank you so so much for watching i wish you a lovely day and i will see you soon bye bye <laughs> Da 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 da